today we're watching unbelievable high speed police chases caught on dash cam and we're already starting in arkansas oh my God. it's always america with these things and i mean it's the best place because it's so open <laughs> Vet in Arkansas that left this police officer in the dust, and a Hellcat driver from Georgia who made the biggest mistake of his life. To a legendary ghost mode driver who's been outrunning state troopers for years, and much more. Here are some of the craziest high speed police chases caught on camera. Welcome back, most dangerous. Everyone hates those drivers who think they're too important to wait in traffic. You know the type, the ones that drive on the shoulder and then try to merge in front of everyone. There's nothing more satisfying than watching them get pulled over. Of on May course. 11th of 2020, two impatient drivers raced down the left shoulder of the M6 in Walsall, England. Their BMW i8 flew by a police officer stuck in traffic like everyone else. He flipped on his lights, but these two didn't plan on stopping. Of course not. Why just why? I honestly don't know. I wish I knew. Yeah, a bunch of overtakes. Jeez, Chris. Bye bye. Oh. William, it's a uh, standby. I've got one out on foot. It is off road. It's um, one out and running. The driver's still in the vehicle. We're onto grassland. Uh, passenger. He didn't even close his door. Oh my god. Blue trousers and vehicle is now returning to the road. Standby for road name. So we're on the crescent, approaching roundabout. Standby for direction. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, with apologies, why am I okay? We're into the Toby Carvery now. Um, risk is still medium. And we're into the car park. We go back out the other side. Why am I standby? For this guy's is all over the place. These narrow English streets are not conducive to outrunning the police. Our driver likely realized that a little too late. <laughs> oh my god, the I'm chatter. On the Broadway North, uh, outside 112. Vehicle's pulling over now of its own accord. Standby. Oh, he's finally given up. You Our know, two I should have realized Simon, the driver, we Dean, the were in England. Had five kilograms of hard drugs worth roughly five hundred thousand dollars. Simon tried to tell police that he bought his one hundred thousand dollar BMW with the money he made from dog breeding and cutting trees. If we had to guess, he got the money from a different, more illegal business. Of As for Dean, they caught him later on trying to hail a cab. He had thrown a backpack you saw him escape with into a bush. It didn't take long for the police to find it. For running from the cops and ah, felony so they were possession, dealers. Simon was sentenced to seven years in jail. Dean got six. Yeah, that seems about right. On April 9th of 2022, 23-year-old Laman Rashid made the biggest mistake of his young life. He was driving his Charger SRT Hellcat on Georgia 400 when a highway patrol officer pulled him over for a suspected DUI. Things seemed to go well at first. Lamont stopped and our officer walked up to the car. But instead of being a routine traffic stop, this happened. Now he's gonna run. Ooh, that's a beast of a car. He's out of there. Look how quickly Lamont's Hellcat puts distance between himself and the officer. Thankfully, it was close to 4 a.m. and the road was mostly hey, just, clear. How's it going? Our trooper had to hit speeds over 150 miles per hour just to catch up. Doing all right, you? I'm doing okay, thanks. Jeez. 
Jeez. Uh, this is some chase. My speed nutcases as usual, dude. Yeah, I saw that. Is the spike strips going to get him though? I don't think that worked. That work? I can't tell. He's going so fast. Once the police successfully spike their vehicle, suspects can't run for long. The detachable Aww. spikes cause the tires to deflate gradually instead of causing dangerous blowouts. Lamont knew he was doomed, so he wisely pulled over a few moments later. Oh, yeah, those tires are gone. Well, not gone. They're like deflated. Now, police had every reason to be angry with Lamont. He put their lives, his life, and the safety of others at risk. So, it's nice to hear the cops wanting to make sure that he's doing okay. Oh, is that a gun? You're good, bro? Yeah. Oh, I suppose they're in America. Thank you have to have a gun license, though, though. In the end, Lamont was charged with a variety of crimes, including DUI, fleeing a traffic stop, and reckless driving. Do you have to renew your gun Some license in America? Some criminals do anything to evade the police. Take this driver from Pulaski County, Arkansas. He deploys an extremely dangerous tactic to escape the police. The online community calls it ghost mode. The technical term is blacking out. It's when the suspect turns off their lights oh, it's and this car, not the disappears previous car. into the okay. night. It's dangerous because other cars can't see them coming. One wrong move and a ghost mode pursuit can end in tragedy. This is in the states. There, everywhere, nearly everyone has one. That is very true. No matter where you go in the states, everyone's gonna have one. Probably, I would assume so, since it's a license. Standard license has to be renewed, no matter what it is. Okay, so he's gone ghost mode and turned off his lights. Pulled a Batman. Did you see that? The only thing a driver can't turn off is their brake light. So whenever the ghost mode suspect hits the brakes, <laughs> our trooper can see them. The suspect, of course, knows this. He'll only tap the brakes when he has to, like when he tries to lose our officer by taking a quick exit. I can't even see. Oh, there he goes. He's going left. I was like, where is he? I can't see him. Yeah, see, now he's just in the area of the streetlights. Everyone can see him. I would say it also to make sure people don't become criminals during their time, but that never stops anyone from, that never stops anyone from getting them anyway. True, yeah. It's like, yeah, I need a gun. Alright, I need a gun license. Alright, here's my gun license. And you promise not to do anything bad. Yeah, totally. Just give me the gun license. It's, it's a stupid law. At this point, it's unclear if our officer is still following the suspect. We can't even see him, even with our ability to slow down and zoom into the video. How is this officer, driving over a hundred miles per hour, supposed to keep eyes on something he can't see? Eventually, the blacked out Hellcat wins the day. 
Our officer takes one last turn before calling off the chase. He got away. What is a Hellcat? Never heard of a car called a Hellcat. We're gonna get southbound on Taylor Loop. Southbound on Taylor Loop. And yet they claim, they claim, I would never give up that. Have you ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so, you, you do, you could, you, you want, you want him to do you so much you could do anything? I would never give it up because I have a right to safety and self-preservation. Meanwhile, the states have one of them. Have one of them. If not, the highest gun crime rates in the world. From exactly. what we can gather on YouTube and Reddit, this ghost mode driver is a legend in Arkansas. This isn't the first time he's blacked out and escaped the police. According to an article from September of 2022, the ghost driver of Arkansas had already eluded police seven times that year. Jesus, so all he has to do every time he goes out is just change his license plate. Back on August 23rd of 2022, police in Arkansas spotted a silver Corvette with some uh, illegal we're back in Arkansas. Not a huge deal. <laughs> so when officers pulled him over, they definitely weren't Arkansas, expecting Arkansas, this Arkansas, reaction. whatever you want to call it. Hmm? No. <laughs> the guy is like, I'm not going down with you. <laughs> Let me out of the car. <laughs> the passenger is like, nope, not doing this. <laughs> I may already have a criminal record, but I'm not doing this. And the cop is just like, all right, we'll get the car. You see it there. Moments after pulling over, our Corvette driver takes off, but quickly comes to a stop once more to let Streaming his passenger having hiccups. Clearly, uh, he did not want to be involved with whatever was about to happen. Our officer chased the suspect as best as he could, but his squad car was no match. The driver quickly vanished from view, and our officer started to lose hope. After a few minutes of driving around, well, there he that is. all changed. He's probably gone again, is he? Like before, the Corvette was able to lose the cops. Once the rain really started coming down, they decided to call off the chase for safety. What's weird is his license plate is a special kind designated for law enforcement. But a quick Google search tells us that any motor vehicle owner may apply for this special plate. Unfortunately, we weren't able to determine if police ever found the suspect or what happened to his friend who got out of the car. Hmm. Might be on my end, but when sure suspects run from or, police, maybe, they usually have something to southern. hide. Lovely. Either there's a warrant out for the arrest, my or there's something looks very illegal in the car. Jacqueline Maxson from Sunrise, Florida, didn't fall into either of those categories. It was March 29th of 2024. Police in Miami-Dade County spotted Jacqueline's car weaving recklessly in and out of traffic. They tried to pull her over, but this Florida woman was on a speed crusade. Pull over right now. Pull over right now. BMW, pull over right now. BMW, which BMW? This silver one here? Jacqueline pulls away momentarily, but heavy traffic keeps her from escaping. Our officer quickly catches up as Jacqueline inadvertently pulls behind another cop car.
No, you can't she even... bobs and okay. weaves between more cars before finally pulling ahead of a third officer. Jesus. No way to pin her either on this small bridge. Jacqueline led police through multiple counties before they finally got in position to pit. It was risky, but they had to get her off the road. Oh. How are they going to pit her? Put out one in front and one in the back of the box it in. Yeah. We see the pit maneuver from other dash cams behind the lead officer. By our count, the crash involved two, possibly three Hi. other cars. Hi. Thankfully, nobody was seriously hurt. When police mm -hmm. asked Jacqueline why she ran, she gave them the worst excuse they had ever heard. Why would you run? <laughs> Jacqueline was arrested and charged with reckless driving, <laughs> eluding police, and resisting arrest. Take her story as a lesson learned. God will understand if you're late for church. It's not worth running from the police. Highway patrol officers are constantly upgrading their horsepower. In Georgia, they rely primarily on Dodge Chargers. Then, in 2022, the Georgia State Police added a fleet of souped-up Chevrolet Camaros to their arsenal. On March 27th of 2022, a different kind of performance vehicle tried to outrun the GSP. A 2015 BMW was seen doing 108 in a 65-mile-per-hour zone. Trooper Swain pulled behind the German sports car and followed oh them as they veered off the highway. For a moment, it so looked like question, they were trying to pull over on the exit. Who is responsible for the damage to the other two vehicles? Um, probably the cops. But it was a risky pit, so they knew what the consequences. He's stopping all of a sudden. Oh, okay, we're still going. Behind the wheel is a man named Deontay Doherty. Two young women are in the car with him, though it's unclear if the officers know that at the time. Regardless, Deontay hits the gas and weaves between cars on the interstate while going over 150 right, miles per hour. One. Until now, later. he's kept the chase on I-75, a highway heading northwest from midtown Atlanta. Then, for some inexplicable reason, Deontay takes things into the city. Into the city. Into the city is a bad mistake. Or a big mistake. Clear left, clear right. Thank 
so hard to catch up to him. He's zipping by traffic and blowing through red lights with no regard for anyone's safety. Police need to end this chase now before someone gets seriously hurt. Yeah, no kidding. Skip it a button, data. <laughs> there you go. Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Once everything calmed down, the arresting officers and Deontay exchanged a few jokes about their cars. He felt outmatched by the GSP and their Charger Hellcats. <laughs> Deontay was arrested and charged with fleeing, reckless driving, and speeding. He also struck multiple cars when he lost control of his BMW. Thankfully, nobody got hurt, though it's unclear who'll have to pay for their damaged vehicles. Hopefully, everyone involved had decent insurance. <laughs> no kidding. June 24th of 2022, Arkansas State Police Officer Corbin Freeman is driving behind a speeding BMW. He was heading east on I-30 when the Beamer approached from behind at a high rate of speed. Trooper Freeman watched the driver weave between cars but slow down when they passed his patrol car. He followed the car while trying to read the tag number. Finally, Trooper Freeman attempted a traffic stop. That's when the young man behind the wheel took off. And he's off. The chase is on. Bottom. Oh, he's trying to run. Oh boy. The driver led Trooper Freeman on a foot chase through a parking lot and over a chain link fence. When Freeman climbed the fence, his hand slipped and he cut himself on the metal. Knowing uh, another suspect was waiting in the car, he gave up on the chase. The other suspect was our driver's 16 year old brother. Police contacted the mother, who said her son was driving someone else's car. Inside, police found 21.6 grams of prescription pills and a digital scale. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in next time. I'm so fucking scared right now, you shut up! Are you doing this? No, I'm doing this! Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage.